Before I go into this video guys, I want to say I've been sponsored by the wonderful people over at One Football for December. It's a fantastic app, it gives me loads of breaking news and updates and great stats on all things Manchester City. So basically, go and do this channel a huge favour and do yourself a huge favour and click the link in the description below and get One Football. it's free and it's dead, dead good, I promise you. Anyway, let's get into this actual video. I thought I'd make a video because City have just announced that they've signed 24-year-old Columbus crew keeper uh, Zach Steffen. Zach Steffen, the most uh, American name I've heard in a very long time. And what do I know about him? Not much if I'm being totally honest with you. Uh, it was the first time I'd heard him personally when we were linked to him a couple of weeks back uh, and since then I've been trying to keep up a little bit with what he's like as a player and generally I don't really know too much. All I can find online really is a few uh, compilation reels and they show off the very best of him in terms of some excellent reflex saves so he looks like he's a very good shot stopper for one but I'll go through his background a tiny bit basically. They actually signed him from Freiburg uh, over in Germany where he actually started his career, played 14 times for their second team, their B team so to speak uh, and that was a bit of a learning process for him before he came back over to the Columbus crew. That was in 2016 and he started to impress with a bunch of standout performances uh, which had led to him being voted into the MLS All-Star team. Uh, he's a fantastic young keeper by all accounts. Now he won't actually be joining Manchester City until July. He'll actually stay with Columbus crew uh, to when their season starts in March, the first half of their campaign and then leave us, leave them sorry in the summer and join us for July. Now that raises a few questions. Is he going to be uh, maybe a backup keeper? Bravo obviously with his injury there's no guarantee he'll be here next summer. Muric is still quite wet behind the ears. He's only young still. So maybe and you see um, Zach Steffen as the future kind of challenger for Edison. He's only two years younger than Edison, which is interesting because it's going to be hard to get games for him. But I reckon given the um, or the size of our club, he'd probably be happy to be number two for a while before maybe going out on loan. Though he could join and just go out on loan. We don't know yet. Obviously, we've got links to like uh, Nice with Patrick Vieira. There. We've got Toulouse. We've got Girona. We've got a whole bunch of clubs around Europe that we could send him on loan to if we wanted to. But it seems kind of official. City have announced it. Columbus Crew have announced quite proudly that they've sold him for a record fee for a keeper over in the MLS. And it looks almost like he's coming to Manchester City. Now, we've heard it before when players do this whole big thing about joining City they'll never be seen anywhere near the first team. Marlos Moreno springs to mind. But this one does seem to be a Manchester City kind of signing. And given the fact that Bravo could be leaving, uh, he kind of suspect he might do given his age and given his injuries. He could be the number two. Uh, obviously, Muric isn't quite ready yet, so I kind of understand that. And Stefan does seem to have a profile now where he kind of maybe warrants a chance as a backup keeper. I don't know how good he is with his feet, that's the one thing I will say because it seems like a prerequisite that you have to be good with your feet these days. I mean I'm not expecting Edison levels but maybe at least around Bravo's kind of level to build to with his feet would be good. Bravo's better than most, not perfect but definitely better than most on that front. And allegedly, and I don't watch much MLS, I'm not going to lie, Columbus don't really pass it out from the back much so it's hard to judge him on that back. Surely they wouldn't sign him if he couldn't do that. He does look like a big lad and as I said earlier, his uh, shot reflexes uh, look very, very good. Definitely capable of a big save or two. He looks a confident lad as well. Uh, so it's interesting on this. I don't blame him for making the move. So it's a surprising transfer really. I don't see why we need another keeper personally. Um, but you know fair enough. If we're going to get him backup keeper why not a uh, £6 million USA International with another £4 million allegedly according to Goal.com. He is actually now the number one for the US. I think he's only made a few appearances but he has broken to the team recently and started to impress. And they've obviously got a good uh, kind of history of keepers over in America if you think of Tim Howard would think of uh, Brad Friedo. Uh, they generally they tend to have good keepers historically. I don't know why, but it seems to be better than that than outfield players, in my personal opinion. Maybe it's something to do with the reflexes, which it never really lacked over in America. Um, but it's interesting to see an American come to Manchester City. It's, not, it's been a while now since we've had one. Claudio Reyna springs to mind. Demarcus De Beasley. Demarcus De Beasley. <laughs> Demarcus Beasley. I did loads of dars there. You dars. Um, but this will be interesting to see how it pans out. Now, as I said before, I'm not the uh, first and foremost authority on this. My recommendation go and do what I did. Search the stuff on YouTube and do uh, a few searches on Google and see what you make of him. But what do you make of this potential transfer? I thought I'd discuss it very briefly because it's interesting at very least. Zach Steffen could be a Manchester City player next season behind Edison. I'm sure if he is our number two, he has the quality to be uh, the potential first choice keeper if anything happened to Edison. Touch wood, he wouldn't, but that's what he's there for. So fair play to Zach. Um, and welcome to Manchester City. Let me know if anyone knows more about him than I do in the comments below. Uh, give me some information, basically. Because uh, uh, it's going <laughs> to... Because I think most of us are in the dark over this one. Anyway, guys, just a very quick video to uh, talk about that because it needed mentioning in my personal opinion. And also, look at this here now, watch. Christmas tree! <laughs> I wanted to mention that because I've moved slightly where I usually fit because the Christmas tree is here. Anyway, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I've been Stephen in a bit. 